Well guys, here I am in my favorite shaded spot where me and my animals spent last summer hiding from the sunshine and the heat. I love it here. I didn't know that uh, this would feel like home. It didn't before, but it's been a wild time leaving here and going to Oregon and finding that I uh, really refer to this as home and how much I miss it here. So it's weird having it leased out and I really can't even stay here because I've leased it and I have an agreement. And uh, anyway, I'm back here just to drop off my pickup and, uh, and do some stuff real quick. And I needed to have a heart to heart with all y'all because uh, I really appreciate everybody that enjoys my live videos because I really enjoy those. And so I appreciate that some people do enjoy them as well so we can keep them going. Uh, but also I've been finding some things that I'd like to share and get some opinions because uh, I haven't had much motivation. It's weird. Uh, got a lot of free time, but I, was, I tied myself down with all these animals and I never intended to do that. I meant... I thought it'd be easy to find somebody who was excited to be here and uh, garden and get their own animals and then I'd be able to leave and go on trips. And that's primarily why I haven't done more horse packing trips and it sucks because that's what I wanted to do. And, um, and then I thought I could in Oregon and uh, that didn't really work out where nobody was really around to take care of my animals for me while I could leave. So I've rehoused them, Not no, I haven't rehoused them. I've taken them to people to take care of so that I can go on a big trip. And um, now another thing, you've seen some of the songs that I've posted. I used to really be into performing. I mean, really be into it as far as I loved it. And I have a lot of fun on stage. And I was funny back then. And I thought I lost my ability to be funny. And then I finally, uh, then I decided, you know what, I need to start writing this stuff down and give it a try because I realized there's a bunch of open mics for comedy around. And uh, so it took me forever to get to an open mic. Finally I did, and I did really well. I mean, I got laughs, I need to improve a lot. And, uh, but what it did tell me was I've, I'm still funny. I, I can still do stand-up. I didn't do stand-up before, I only mixed it in with my um, music. So anyway, there's a lot of opportunities with comedy these days, and <laughs> I feel bad, guys. So that's what my trip is about. Down in Austin, there's tons of open mics, and they're not woke down there, so it's the kind of crowd I can uh, work with and feel comfortable with. I live here near Seattle and Portland, that's the main comedy sites around me and uh, i don't even have to tell you how woke they are there and uh, not because i want to make fun of people but just because it's insane as you know uh, no matter what you say pretty much if you're white they'll find a reason to uh, hate you so anyway i'm on my way to austin guys I'm excited for it. I'm going to go down there and work on, go to open mics like every night and work on my uh, comedy. I've got about 20 minutes so far, but I need to really smooth it out. And uh, I know this is totally different from my normal stuff, but the way that it ties in is I got a car so I could take my dogs. That was a real challenge was figuring out what to do. I mean, my preferred would have been to just take off on my motorcycle and camp out along the way but I didn't want to leave my dogs and I didn't have a place to leave my dogs and so the next best thing was to buy a fuel efficient car which will also be nice around here so I can go check out spots historical spots and stuff I've been wanting a car for a while so um, I'm gonna take off I'm still doing my minimal living I'm going to live super cheap. I've got my car packed up with um, my regular eating stuff 
my cooking stuff is still in Oregon, so I might just get new st stuff from the Goodwill to cook with. And I'm gonna camp. And then when I get there though, the problem is my dang dogs don't handle the heat well. So I decided that what I have to do is get a place that's air conditioned where I can leave my dogs so I can go downtown and uh, do my stuff and then come back and my dogs won't be roasting and miserable. So other things that I do hope to do down there is some fishing to supply some food for me. And a friend of mine has some property down there, which I was thinking about camping on, but the dogs, uh, it's too hot for them. And so, but they have in Texas, they have a huge problem with wild hogs. They tear up the land, they're very destructive, they're dangerous. So hopefully, I have wanted to hunt wild hogs in Texas since I was a kid and my dad telling me stories about it. So hopefully I'll be able to shoot a couple of hogs and dry some meat and get some fat off of it. And um, that way, so my, so my lifestyle is still gonna be tied in and just go out and be able to do other things. And uh, that's the cool thing about this lifestyle that I've developed. It's kind of like a skill that I can use for stuff like this. And uh, someday I want to travel overseas again, like to, um, well, I want to go to Mongolia and I want to go to uh, Europe, different parts of it, <clears throat> and uh, I hope to utilize my minimal living that I've developed to make it cheap and, and be free in my trips too, so I'm not bound to hotels and all that crap. So anyway, this might come as a shock to y'all. Uh, still not exactly sure. I want to keep up the uh, live videos. I don't know if I should do my uh, journey on this channel or if that would be too much of an affront to you guys. You're my faithful viewers. While I haven't been the best at getting things posted, I appreciate y'all. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'm planning to take off May 28th, I think. Oh, Memorial Day. <laughs> I think I'm going to get out of here early Memorial Day. <laughs>